I need to get a stool or something. Okay. Yo, what's going on? It's me, Nana, and I'm coming at y'all with another video, another styling video. And today I recently picked up these derbies. If you don't know what derbies are, they're basically like dress shoes, but they're the more chunkier variety, such as these. I picked these up on Grail for like $80, and sadly, I don't even know what the model is. I bought it from the guy, and the guy was talking about, I think it's a 1461. I tried to do my research on it. This is definitely not a 1461, but a Doc Martin 1461 is a definitely a great alternative to these. I really like these because I don't really see shoes like these, or at least this type of Doc Martin before. I like the sole of them. I like the colors, all black and leather. Got these little laces, the silver lace, lace holes? What are they called? Lace holes? Nah, that's not it. Lace holes? Whatever, man, the eyelids, eyelids, they're called eyelids. So basically, I'm gonna show y'all three simple outfits with these for the springtime and because of the quarantine and stuff, it's pretty cold out, so they're probably gonna be more of the colder variety, but simple fits nonetheless. Let's hop right into the first outfit. The first outfit starts off with this inside out Martin Luther King vintage tee. I kinda like the way it looked inside out because I was trying to keep it simple. I didn't want any graphics at all in this video, so. It's a nice, simple, vintage white tee. On the bottoms, we got these Brooks Brothers swim shorts. I know they're swim shorts, but they look really cool because I really like the print, that little blue paisley print. It's super sick, and I like how short it is, how it's like above the knee. And on the bottom, of course, we threw on the derbies. And on the top, I also threw on a hoodie because it's still kind of cold outside, and it's still a basic hoodie. Personally, I think a great hoodie goes with everything. I have that's my go-to hoodie for everything. Like people say black hoodies are the go-to or the essential, but I think it's gray. Gray goes with everything, a nice neutral color. And I didn't want to do too much with the tops because the bottom was already kind of loud. So kind of let the pants do all the talking. It's a little bit childish, but because of the shoes, I feel like it adds that element of, I'm a grown up, haha. This next fit starts off with the same inside out Martin Luther King tee, but instead on top, instead of a hoodie, I threw on this nice cardigan also purchased on the grill. I'm not sure if this is vintage or not, but I like the print on it, the design, not the print, but how it's knitted. It's like this cable stitch. I think it's cable knit, but don't quote me on that. It's nice and a little bit cropped in the body. On the bottom, I have these Levi's 5, 511s. Are they 511s? Nah, they, I think they're 505s actually, but they're in this nice indigo color. The only sad part about these pants is they're actually like a 34 in length. So to offset that, I kind of gave it big cuffs just to kind of break up the fit. And I feel like it made the fit look even sicker. Of course, the big cuffs let it sit on the shoes perfectly. I like these shoes to be extremely straight just so that right where it ends, the shoe starts. Sick fit, a lot of smarter. I, I feel like these shoes are a shoe where you can wear it smarter or dress it down. So and this one is more dressed up than the first fit. Still a sick fit. Last but not least, this hands down my favorite fit. It starts off with this inside out vintage black tee this time, so it's more of like an ash gray. Top, we got, you know, signature Nana vintage varsity jacket. It's a super sick fit, nice and cropped. I kind of always leave the bottom buttons unbuttoned just so you can see like whatever I'm wearing under peek out from the bottom. On the pants, we got these nice 505s in that same charcoal color. And on the bottom, of course, the derbies. I feel like this is an actual sick ass fit just because it's more street and it's more it's street but at the same time nice and like smart too you know like these shoes really change up the vibe of every fit and I feel like that's the most important thing I could also throw on the Colette Hyde bag just if I want to spice up the fit a little bit but it's a simple fit so I might not do that but I'll probably show it on the b-roll it's still a sick fit I think that these shoes are definitely worth an investment they're more of a different lane than what I'm used to so very sick now, would I recommend derbies? I definitely, who making music right now? But I definitely would recommend derbies just because they're a lot different, especially if you're a person that usually wears sneakers. I feel like these shoes, whatever fit you have when you wear sneakers with, you can easily replace them with these shoes because, I don't know, I feel like they kind of fit the same rule, but it also makes you look a little bit smarter, more mature. It matures up, it matures up, matures the fit just a little bit. It ages it to perfection. But yeah, that's all from me, y'all. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe, let me know something. It's been Nana, and I'm out. Thank you for watching.